Hello. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, KDump, which is a uh, utility that you can uh, find on most of the Linux distribution. Um, but in the Red Hat and CentOS uh, distribution, Red Hat based distributions, it's usually called KDump. Uh, what it does is basically it allows you to um, have a kernel core dump when the system crash or there's a kernel panic. So if you are working with Linux servers or systems, you might notice there's some times when the uh, kernel, the Linux kernel may crash with the kernel panic. And in many situations like that, um, you'll find that you know when you reboot the server and bring it up again, you log in, you look for log, for root cause analysis and you can find anything specific to find out why it's crashed you know things of that nature so that's what KDAM into play what it does is basically once you configure it it will if there's a kernel panic the system will crash it will create a uh, core dump file uh, on a specific directory or location as you configure and then um, you can uh, use that to analyze the root cause or send it to uh, places like Red Hat support or SUSE support, right? Your, your, uh, to find out. Uh, in many cases, I found the Red Hat asks for that information when you call them or contact them for a server issue, right? So um, it's been a good idea to set it up for any production server, right? Uh, because sometimes, you know, if you don't do that, you're too late, right? then you have to wait for the other next failure again to to find out why the system crashed. So anyway, I have this uh, VM here uh, that is a uh, CentOS 6.5 and I ran a YAM update to make sure it's updated. So uh, I'm just going to log into the to SSH here. Okay. This is the VM that we're talking about, and uh, it's pretty light VM. It's one gig, right, uh, and one CPU. So just gonna minimize it for now. So what we're gonna do is, you know, if you just wanna do a KDump, uh, and then uh, it comes up with uh, so there are a few parts. The first part is that you want to, if you want to generate just the kernel core dump, then you just need this kexec tools package. Uh, what it, once you install it, 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 it'll be able to generate the core dump file when the system crash. Um, but if you want to analyze the core dump file, then you have to use crash uh, and and these tools here. Okay, crash and the kernel uh, debug tools, right? So you can hit. So in many cases, you might just install the you know kexec tools and then you generate the dump file and then you basically ship the uh, or email the or you know transfer the dump file to a different location then from there you do the investigation okay so uh, I'm just gonna try to install it through this command here so the first step is to install KDAM when you install Red Hat and CentOS you will find that it will ask you a question uh, if you want to install KDAM or not but uh, you know, if you don't do that, then you just can follow these steps. So, I'm just going to paste this command here. And uh, we are enabling debug repository, which is which is where the uh, kernel debug uh, package is there. So, I'm just press enter. Okay. So, it's 322 megabytes. That's why you probably don't want to install the kernel debug on a server you may want to install this uh, sorry this uh, these two packages on a different location so I'm just gonna say that's okay I'm, I have space so I'm just gonna why it's a test machine so now uh, it's gonna go through the installation process so the plan is once we have it installed we are gonna update the Etsy KDOM conf actually we don't have to do much I'm just gonna go through that real quick uh, then you can you know where to modify uh, and then once that is done, I'm just gonna actually I have a modification here. I'm gonna update the boot grub grub .conf file with uh, update the crash kernel parameters. 
I think by default it comes up with uh, uh, comes up with the auto and it has issues with uh, with my VM. But CentOS I'm finding an issue, but with the Red Hat it's usually good. Uh, uh, so I, I I will usually I will set to one twenty megabyte because uh, KDAM requires some memory uh, uh, on the system so that you know it can do all that what it needs to do. Uh, by default, you can do set it to start with one twenty megabyte. But if you have a lot of memory on a system, then there is a there are some um, guidance that you can look in the Red Hat website. If you just go to CentOS, uh, just search Google KDAM configuration settings, then you can change it to you know forty eight megabyte increment depending on the size of your RAM. Um, then once we do that, the plan is to um, start the service. Uh, actually, the, I'm going to do a reboot the system. Okay, we just start uh, putting the step here. So that's the step one, step two. If needed, okay. Default, it may be okay. And then uh, number three will be update the crash kernel, reboot the system. Okay. Do a service kdump status. Make sure to check the status. Not enabled. Okay, so these are the things we will check, uh, uh, and then we're gonna test the you know, K dump. Just make sure the system. So always when you configure K dump on any system, uh, kernel dump, then um, test it. Make sure uh, the the core dump files are generated properly. There are times when people configure uh, K dump and they don't even test it, and then when the server fails, it something doesn't happen. Properly, you know, there are probably typo in the configuration, and that can basically ruin your investigation. And then um, for core dump analysis, you know, I already covered that in the up upper part here, this section. So we're installing like this. So uh, this one you don't need. Then there is some, you know, core dump analysis. I'm not going to go through how to analyze that. There are plenty of resources, uh, and I think uh, you know on the web that you can uh, see. And uh, hmm. just gonna see if I can. Uh, I'm having some disk space issue. Looks like I still have it. Let me see if it is installed. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just install the, I don't have enough disk space, looks like I don't have to uh, extend the disk space, which will take some time. Uh, but I'm just going to install the key exec tools. Uh, I'm going to show how the KDAM works, right? You can play with it later on. So I'm going to do yum install key exec tools. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you the uh, VISC KDump. Okay, so this is the file where you can uh, configure KDump configuration. You can uh, set it to uh, where it needs to send the dump file. Then you can set it to send it to NFS, share, uh, SSH to another machine, SCP. Um, a lot of settings, right? So. And then you can also decide the default uh, behavior when the problem happens, what the system needs to do. Like, it, does it need to reboot or halt or power off? Uh, and shell is the default, I believe, so it will just keep it in the kernel. With the panic, it will just be in the shell. Uh, but you can change it if you might need to. And then there's debug level, right? Uh, there are different settings. Um, you can play with that. I'm just going to keep the default for now just to show you, uh, you know, in many cases, that should be sufficient, but depends. So it's gonna 
send a dump file to var slash var slash crash location and that's the default these two lines aren't comments you can keep it as it is by default and then it's gonna compress the uh, dump file that it creates okay good, good didn't make any change so it's just there now the next step is to go to boot grab grab config and um, let's see if I can make it bigger a little bit So uh, crash kernel. So this is the crash kernel. So this variable we're gonna say to uh, right now it's set to auto, but uh, with the lower memory system it's uh, it have issues with auto. So uh, I'm gonna say to one twenty eight, and I also saw some issues with that. Uh, in Red Hat I didn't see any issue, but on CentOS I usually set it up. So one twenty megabyte allocated for the crash kernel. Head up, right? So you have to consider that when you plan on it. And if you have a low memory system, you may not be able to use Kdump. You have to have more memory. Okay. So at least 120 megabyte. So I'm gonna hit OK. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's see if the Kdump service is enabled by default. Let's just click. Okay. So it's turned on. So it's gonna next time it start um, reboot, it will just automatically try to start. So we're gonna reboot this system. Okay, I'm gonna watch the uh, boot process. Okay, it's gonna reboot the system now. You can just better to watch the system. So it's rebuilding the uh, rebuilding the uh, entirety the kernel for the KDAMP. So it's doing, which is not process the first time. Once that is done, we should be able to see if the KDAMP service started or not. There you go, it, uh, it, it started to k-dump OK here, so that's good. So actually we just configured it, so I'm just going to go SSH to the system again. OK, if we do a service, k-dump status, k-dump is operational, that's what you want. OK, if it's service stopped, it will not say operational, it will say k-dump service is not operational. So let's see what do we have in the var cache, uh, crash, right? Nothing. Okay, let's try to test our KDAM. So we're gonna set a variable for the sysrec, and then we'll change it. That will generate a uh, panic. Okay, echo on sysrec. Sorry. Okay, we're setting saying you know it's the values one. So we're gonna change the value to something else that will create a and watch what happens here. Okay, watch the this side here. Let's see what happens. It's gonna kill the system actually. Then we're gonna try to do a sysrec, Sys, uh, kernel panic, forcing a kernel panic. Actually, you see there's a kernel, there's a panic happened, and now it's doing uh, kdump. See, if you didn't have that, if we had run that, it would be just kernel panic, and then it would be there. So now we should be able to see something on the uh, on the uh, var slash var crash file, right? You should be able to see the uh, KDOM. I'll see if I can have a separate video for the uh, for the uh, analysis part um, where we can install that, but for now. Uh, in many cases, right, you know, if you had do just, uh, you know, most of the time you will be installing in the server just the KXEC tools and that's it. You don't want to install the debugging tools on the server itself. You just ship the crash file somewhere else and then ally it locally. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so now let's try to SSH that box again. There you go, our KDOM file. Okay, so now at this stage, you know, I could ship this whole um, folder and ship it to Red Hat and say, hey, well, can you investigate why my system crashed? And they can help you out if you have a support with Red Hat. Uh, or if you were, you know, in the community as well, you know, some people might help help you, right? Uh, it's it's a KDAMP analysis is not so simple. It has a lot of things involved, so uh, at the beginning you might find a challenge, but having this is just gonna help you figure out the root cause. So that's about it. Um, if you like the video, just press like or subscribe to my video. Thank you for watching.